Okay, so the question is how to get a Rickson Jr. equipped door out of the opening. So client has provided some very nice vintage photos. And what we're looking at here is the floor plate of the closer. And here's the floor closer. We have the top pivot and then an elevation. Beautiful, very typical mid-century sort of design with that panel door. Um, small push plate, maybe 3 by 12 uh, just really great stuff. The client states that this is from about 1950. Very likely that that's accurate. The Junior was a very common closer back then. And still common today, meaning clients will call and say that they have those and they either need service on them, rebuilding them, things of that nature, which we provide. Now, moving forward, how to remove the unit from the opening. So this item here is our Rickson Junior rebuilt page. On here is a link to the template, which is right here. I'm going to open that in a moment. I have a modern template from a Rickson 370, which is a center hung, um, center hung pivot. The way that you retract the pin nowadays is that you remove this, you remove the face plate. There's a decorative cover plate here. You remove that. There'll be two screws. Then you'll get access to a bolt that's here and as you thread that it will drive the pin off of this fulcrum governed by this ball screw and tip it and lift it out. That's how they're done nowadays. Well nowadays are different than the way that they were done many many years ago. So that template that's here is literally from 1950. It's from a very um, a very valuable gentleman who worked at Rickson for several decades and is a to say that he is a wealth of knowledge goes beyond, uh, um, uh, you know, an, an understatement. Uh, he just tremendous. Although I don't have access to him anymore, I believe he's retired. So here's what we're talking about. Here's your top pivot, and according to the image that we have here, there's one single hole here. That hole and the other hole back here will hold the pivot into the header. But now we're looking at our top pivot. So, according to legend, according to everything that I know about this, you do literally need to insert a flat-bladed instrument through that access hole or a center punch or something appropriate to go in there. Um, you know, perhaps a awl, but I wouldn't want something so pointed, so potentially damaging to the spring that's in there. So what you do is you literally need to insert a tool into here and push up and it will show the pivot when engaged. You will be able to push that up, this spring, and then disengage the pin from the top of the door. It's obviously crucial that there are two people doing this. One person to insert the tool and push up, the other person to catch the door because it's going to come down. You might get on your uh, four foot ladder and, in, and scrutinize the gap between the door and the header to see that you are having an effect on the positioning of the top pin when you push that up. Be careful. Um, don't do it too uh, aggressively. You don't want to fatigue the parts that are in there because we can rebuild your junior, but I don't know of anywhere to get you that old style top pivot. So please insert the tool, push up carefully, two people to do the job, and please, please report back to us. Thank you.